Hello everyone, we are Pandora Bots. Thank you for choosing us and warm welcome to your second tutorial in chatbot development with AIML 2.0. In previous video, we created our first bot. By the end of this video, we will train our bot to reply as human gives command. Let's click on edit bot. We'll navigate under AIML, udc.aiml. Note that in previous video, we tried talking to our bot and it replied, I have no answer for that. You can see this reply stored in udc.aiml. There are a bunch of tags here. You can see a pattern tag. Well, what exactly is a pattern? It basically means what user input could be. And what our bot should reply, we will enclose that text into template tag. Both pattern and template tag go under category tag. Consider category tag as a chunk of conversation. Also, a pattern tag has a very special character, star, also known as wildcard. So star implies everything, that is anything user might enter. We can try changing the template for a default reply as something like this. Mm. I have no answer for that. I personally like making my bot much more humanly. We'll try to save and we can test it by running some commands. Let's say hi. Now it would reply as programmed. Now just a fun point. We all have that annoying sibling who always repeats what we say. What if our bot could do it? So if we have to do something like that, then we would do something like this. So what input tag does? It would capture what's written in a pattern tag and it would rep repeat it again. We'll try to save it. Now if we try something like hi, it would reply hi. Hey there. We'll create our first file now. Let's go to file, new, AIML file. I'm gonna name my file as name.aiml. Hit on create file button. We are going to learn two important tags called get and set. As I am creating a bot, I would like to be its master. I want my Saka bot to save my name and proudly publish it whenever needed. So I am going to create our first chunk that is category. a bunch of pattern and template tags. I'm gonna put pattern with something like this. Name of your master is star. Why star? Star could be a variable quantity. Suppose name of your master could be John or name of your master could be something like Leela. To capture what's written in star and to assign it to a variable, we use set tag. So we would do something like this in template tag. So it would say, I will remember my master is and with the set tag, we would assign a variable called name and we are going to capture what's written in the star tag with the star slash and we're going to end the set tag. Suppose human asks something like, who is your master? Now we want our bot to use this set variable. For that purpose, we would use get tag. I'll use I'll quickly create category. With a pattern and template tag. Suppose pattern would be something like who is your master?
then our template would be something like so suppose human ask who is your master it would check for the variable name and it would get it for it we would save this file and let's try to run it let's test it out and if we ask Now what if you want a bot to choose a reply at random. For example, we will feed in more than one replies into a bot and the bot would decide at random which reply it should pick. Suppose a human types in hi. Well there are more than one ways to greet the human back. We will use random tag for such purpose. Firstly, we would create another file. I'm going to name my file as practice. Let's create a file. I'm going to quickly add my category and pattern template tag. Suppose the pattern is high, then to fit in more than one template tag, we will use random. We will quickly create some list elements. Suppose high. Someone would say hola amigo or something like namaste or something like hi back. So now suppose human enters hi, bot would reply anything of these three at random. We would save this file. Let's quickly check our replies. Let's go with hi and it would say namaste. What about hi again? It says hi back. Hi and hola me. So at random, it chose replies from list elements. Sometimes it is necessary to repeat the bot's last response. For example, there might appear a case where human might ask something like, what did you just say? The bot should be able to reply its last response. To do this, we use response tag. We will quickly make our category. Oh yes, there is a new feature on our platform. So go ahead and let's use it. We would use insert and category. We will use a pattern tag like what did you just say? And we would use the response tag as this. So we are providing response with index 1 as we want our bot to repeat the most recent reply. We'll try to save it. And we will do something like Hi. And for the next time, it should reply with the hi back to just say, what did you just say? It would say hi back.